11, an unexpected cold case arrest nearly 35 years later. A man now charged in the death of Denise Flume. The 18-year-old was last seen on Good Friday back in 1986. But today in Connersville, our Alan Carter found a community relieved, yet surprised to find closure. After 34 years, it's all people are talking about in Connersville. They got him for voluntary manslaughter. In the bars. And all of a sudden it pops up like it did today, and I think there's a lot of relief on people's minds. Orders, wings. The farmer's market. For us, it's always been um, a desire for the community to get some answers and some resolution. It's turned to be a big talk. Cause and restaurants. The whole town was just in shock. I, all I can think of is how in the world could somebody conceal something like that for so long? A cold case cracked seemingly out of the blue. Finally, it's been a long time coming, but it's time. Denise Flum went missing in 1986, last seen going to retrieve her purse from a gathering, not long after her car was found, but never any physical evidence. It was such a sad situation with her being so young and, and just a mystery. And then there's a couple of pictures of 13 her News about. talked to Flum's family two years ago where they said they would never give up hope. We feel compelled to keep looking. You don't you don't give up, you just you spend your life looking. Now answers are starting to come with Thursday's arrest. Investigators say Sean McClung admitted to killing Denise and that their case could involve more people. For a community, it may be the beginning of closure. They thought they'd never get. I thought what would happen that was going to go to the grave with somebody. You know, I never really did think that there would ever be a name that actually was connected to her. Flum's mother told Dateline that McClung had once been Denise's boyfriend, but they had broken up shortly before her disappearance. Police say he was questioned during the initial investigation and claimed she was still alive. Today, Flum's parents released this statement asking for privacy, but thanking the community, saying in part, Denise was a wonderful young woman. Her light is never gone. Her love will always remain with us and with all of you. Thank you for all of your help. We love and appreciate every one of you.